my first design memory was when I was crawling on my parents' Turkish carpet and I could see um, the depictions of scenes of war made out of um, the, the, the material, the wool and the carpet. I grew up in a mid-century modern house, so it was probably be crawling all over butterfly chairs or uh, Swedish modern sofas. I was 15 and my dream was to have the lounge chair of Charlene's because at that time for me it was just the best. I was younger and I would go to auctions and thrift stores and flea markets with my mom and she would always give me $20 so I got really good at bargaining. I had a bike and I was always playing around with it and then at some point I thought it was the coolest ever if I would pedal forward and drive backwards or pedal backwards and drive forward and I, I don't even know now how I did but I was able to make my bike go forward while pedaling backwards. What's my favorite product that I designed? Well, I love all my children equally. It's way too hard to choose between all the different products I've designed. But that said... I mean, of course, the one laptop per child, the sail chair... Today, the Joe Light is my favorite product that I designed. The Jam Box, all those are um, my babies, so I can't really pick. Or the Disky. I like the Disky Light, too. The favorite piece I've designed is called Biggie. It's a carafe, and uh, to me, is like representing with a very simple sign what what they think about it. My biggest piece of advice to young designers is to take risks. Be really, really good at something, um, and then you can spread that craft, um, that ability um, to many other fields. To look at everything but design especially today, in the sense that uh, you have to open your mind today. Be honest. I mean, you can lie to other people, but you have to be honest to yourself. And that's difficult. And then on a financial level, and there's a long story behind this, but I'll just say, when someone gives you money, take it. Style without soul. Okay, less is more, I get that. Less and less and less and less and less and less and less cannot be more at some point, right? I think design trends really only live in the minds of the media. Um, I think all the designers that are really making a difference um, really have their own direction, their own particular approach, um, their own style. Um, their own ideas and this is why I think design is so interesting because it doesn't have to follow trends. There's so many talented artists that live in these remote areas around the world that never got their work in front of the right people. Someone who comes to mind would be Pablo Neruda, not considered a designer, but in his book Ode to Common Things actually lays out some very beautiful design ideas and um, that could lead to a better world. A designer that uh, I discovered later, even if you, I was knowing very well, is Bruno Munari, who did a great work, very poetic, and in my opinion, uh, has not been recognized enough as a great one. I think all designers are underappreciated. I think as designers, we make a huge difference in the world. And um, I don't know, I don't think that recognition is there yet.